Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Numbers chapter 13, this is the New King James Version. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Send men to spy out the land of Canaan, which I am giving to the children of Israel. From each tribe of their fathers you shall send a man, every one a leader among them. So Moses sent them from the wilderness of Paran, according to the command of the Lord, all of them men who were heads of the children of Israel. Now these were their names, from the tribe of Reuben, Shamua, the son of Zakur, from the tribe of Simeon, Shaphat, the son of Horai, from the tribe of Judah, Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, from the tribe of Issachar, Higal, the son of Joseph, from the tribe of Ephraim, Hosea, the son of Nun, from the tribe of Benjamin, Palti, the son of Raphu, from the tribe of Zebulun, Gadio, the son of Sadi, from the tribe of Joseph, that is, from the tribe of Manasseh, Gadi, the son of Susai, from the tribe of Dan, Amiel, the son of Gamala, Gamali, from the tribe of Asher, Sether, the son of Michael, from the tribe of Naphtali, Nabi, the son of Vasi, from the tribe of Gad, Gul, the son of Maki. These are the names of the men whom Moses sent to spy out the land, and Moses called Hosea, the son of Nun, Joshua. Then Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan, and said to them, Go up this way into the south, and go up to the mountains, and see what the land is like, whether the people who dwell in it are strong or weak, few or many, whether the land they dwell in is good or bad, whether the cities they inhabit are like camps or strongholds, whether the land is rich or poor, and whether there are forests, there are not. Be of good courage, and bring some of the fruit of the land. Now the time was the season of the first ripe grapes. So they went up and spied out the land from the wilderness of Zin, as far as Rehob, near the entrance of Hamath. And they went up through the south and came to Hebron. Ahimeh, Shishai, and Telmai, the descendants of Anak, were there. Now Hebron was built seven years before Zon in Egypt. Then they came to the valley of Eshcol, and there cut down a branch with one cluster of grapes. They carried it between two of them on a pole. They also brought some of the pomegranates and figs. The place was called the valley of Eshcol because of the cluster which the men of Israel cut down there. And they returned from spying out the land after forty days. Now they departed and came back to Moses and Aaron and all the congregation of the children of Israel in the wilderness of Paran. At Kadesh, they brought back word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. Then they told them and said, We went to the land where you sent us. It truly flows with milk and honey, and this is its fruit. Nevertheless, the people who dwell in the land are strong. The cities are fortified and very large. Moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. The Hittites, the Jebusites, and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and along the banks of the Jordan. Then Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and take possession, for we are all well able to overcome it. But the men who had gone up with him said, We are not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they gave the children of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone, as spies is a land that devours its inhabitants, and all the people whom we saw in it are men of great stature. There we saw the giants, the descendants of Anak, came from the giants, and we were like grasshoppers in our own sight, and so we were in their sight. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.